God, we come before your throne tonight and we just uplift your holy name and give thanks unto you. Lord, we come to you with our arms stretched wide open, just like our hearts are open to you tonight. Lord, I am here interceding on behalf of my brothers and my sisters, and I pray that as I pray to you, you would hear them, that you would see them, that you would remember them, that, Father, you would answer their prayers, that you would attend to their needs in a manner that is uniquely for them. Lord, I'm asking that you would help them to let go of all disappointments of the past. And God, I am praying that you empower them to forgive those who have hurt them and disappointed them so deeply. Forgiveness can be so difficult when the offense is so great and the pain that they've experienced is so immobilizing that sometimes it just feels like it's their entire soul that has been murdered. And so God, this type of pain is so deep. But God, I know that you can reach the depths of their hearts. I know that you can touch the very source of that pain. God, I know that there is nothing too difficult for you. And so I'm asking to do what no one else can do but you, almighty God. I pray, Lord, that you would keep them from bitterness. It is not productive to their souls. I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would hold resentment in their hearts at bay because we know that it is destructive to their own peace and hinders their relationship with you. I'm asking God that you would help my brothers and sisters find forgiveness. Help them, I pray with you. I pray to you, I beseech you, God, help them. It is difficult, but it is what you told us we need to do, and we want to do your will. And for this, it can only be done in your strength. Only in your strength can they truly forgive those who have hurt them. Lord, I know they want to forgive in the manner that Christ forgives us for the sins that we commit. I understand that we can only forgive others as we allow the forgiveness of Christ to flow through us. He even said, Father, forgive to those that crucified him on the cross. So I'm asking you tonight, God, to please help them forgive in the same way. This is my prayer. Loving Lord, I know in my heart that forgiveness is a choice that we have to make, that my brothers and my sisters have to make. Lord, help them, direct them to make the right choice. Help them to choose to let forgiveness flow through their hearts so that they are not nourishing grievances within and so that the healing of their own heart can start to take place in the name of Jesus. Lord, this requires you. And I'm calling on you, Almighty God, to touch hearts tonight. I'm calling on you, Almighty God, to do what seems impossible to me, to what is actually impossible to man, to soften hearts, to mend hearts, to heal brokenness. Lord, I know you gave us doctors and therapists, psychologists and counselors, and we thank you for them. We thank you for them. We ask that you would bless them with knowledge and what narcissistic abuse is, what emotional abuse is, and equip them to fight this fight the way that you desire. May they no longer diminish the effects of it. May they no longer feel like this is something less than what it is, but empower them to speak up so that they can effectively help those that you call them to serve. Dear Heavenly Father, I am pleading for you to restore the souls of my brothers and my sisters. God, I am asking you, I'm begging you, Lord, to please revive their hearts and lead them on the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Lead them along the right path for their futures for so much in their lives has become a disappointment and they deserve so much more because you said in your word that you promised them, you give them an expected end. 
You came, Christ came so that they could have abundant life. Lord, I know that this abundant life that was spoken about did not include grief. It did not include misery. It did not include bitterness. God, I'm asking that you would help them cope with this disappointment, cope with the pain, cope with the grief that they have been forced, that has been forced upon them. Thank you, Lord, for reminding my brothers and my sisters that their citizenship is in heaven and that the, and that the things of this world will only cause them disappointment and distress. Help them to hold lightly to the things of this world and the things um, and its enticing possessions. Keep their hearts focused on Jesus, knowing that he will never disappoint or fail them. God, I am asking that as they sleep tonight, you would refresh the weary souls of my brothers and sisters. This is my prayer. I am asking that you will make them like a tree that has been planted by the flowing waters. Cause their roots to sink deeply in you, Lord Jesus, knowing that you are their hope. Their hope is in you alone. Fill them, almighty God, with hope and joy, peace and love. And may they draw even closer to you. Oh, Jehovah, I know that you hear our prayers tonight. You know all about their disappointments. You know everything that they have faced. You know all about the sleepless nights, the sadness that fills their hearts, and the distress that it has caused them. For some, the sickness, the PTSD, and the various sicknesses that they have faced because of this. Help them not to harbor any grievances in their hearts. For we know, God, even that after all of this, smiles on their faces send confusion into the camp of the enemy. So God, I am calling upon you to turn things around for them. Lord, you promised to strengthen your children and to uphold each one with your righteous hand. Help them to cling to this truth. I ask that you would heal all pain in their hearts and change their sorrow into joy and transform their disappointments into blessings from you in the name of Jesus. Uphold them day by day, almighty God, with your everlasting arms and pour the precious peace that only comes from you into their hurting hearts. Thank you for your grace because we know that your grace is sufficient to turn their disappointments into laughter. May they rest in this truth in Jesus' name. Dear God, we I know that sometimes they feel like life is going in the wrong direction and that their dreams, the dreams that they had in the past have been shattered. Some have been let down so much and now are raising children on their own. And sometimes, God, the money is funny. Sometimes the rent is due. Sometimes cupboards are empty. Things are due. Lights are shut off. God. You did so much for me. You helped me come overcome these things. I am calling upon you to do it again because you are a God who is able to restore. You are a God who is a miracle working God. You are able to do it not once, twice, but as many times as your children need it done. So God, I pray that you would give them the strength to carry on. I pray that you would help them to pick up the shattered pieces of their lives and move on in your strength, not regretting the past, but rather God, I pray that they would learn from it. Lord, I know that your strength and your power must have sustained them even when they did not realize it. We thank you for the divine favor that is their portion. You promised that you would be with them through every difficult situation. And so we exalt your name because we know you were there. We thank you for your presence, almighty God. Help my brothers and sisters to trust you and to unburden all sorrows and disappointment to you. Help them to pour out their hearts to you. I thank you, God, because you listen to the cries of your children. They are not alone. You are their help and their strength. I know in my heart that you never leave nor forsake your children. I thank you that you have promised them that you will be with them, that you have said in your word that you will never slumber, nor will you sleep. I know, God, your word says that you are not man that you would lie, neither are you the son of man that you would repent. You also said that you would watch over your word to perform it. So, God, we bring your word back to you today. And I am asking, God, that you would perform it in the lives of my brothers and my sisters. God, you said 
you said in your word that you hem them in your garments. God, I know that in your garment there is peace. There is love. There is joy. There is absolutely everything that they need. So God, do what only you can do. And we will look to you with great expectations and keep our hearts open to you, forever singing praises unto you and declaring your goodness, Father. Have your way in the lives of my brothers and my sisters. I thank you for the unmerited favor that is their portion. I thank you for the grace and mercy that follows them everywhere that they go. As you heal them from this disappointment that they may have that they have experienced in their life i pray that you would restore their minds restore their mind give them new thoughts cause them to see themselves the way that you see them i pray almighty god that you would embarrass every enemy of their soul cause them almighty god to see that there is a table that has been prepared for them in the presence of their enemies god we just exalt you and we praise you we thank you that you are our ever loving father i thank you for all that you do for us god it is in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ that we pray amen